Don't touch that brick. This house was built 60 years ago, and today this brick wall still looks as good as the day it was built. If you were to paint this, it would cost you about $500 to do the painting, and every five to 10 years, it would cost you 500 more to redo it. That's about $5,000 since this house has been built. If you were to change to stucco, it would probably cost you 10,000 plus to do the stucco, and you would replace it every 20 to 25 years. That's 20 to $30,000 that would have been spent redoing this since this house was built. And the cost of this brick veneer since the date it was built, zero dollars in maintenance. Plus, brick has a limited color palette. It is a classic style that will endure for a lifetime and beyond. Brick is an expensive material and it's labor intensive to install. You hardly ever see it being used anymore. And yet people feel compelled to take this pretty much zero maintenance exterior surface and to paint it or stucco it. Sometimes people see something on TV that impresses them, a current style. Maybe an HGTV star in Waco, Texas uh, is running around painting brick gray and they think it looks great, and they imitate it without really thinking. This substantial brick home was custom built by a prominent family 70 years ago, and it lasted 70 years without paint or maintenance until recently somebody chose to paint it gray, initiating a sequence of paint and maintenance for the rest of the life of this house, all for a simple styling trend. Here are a couple more examples with the brick veneer fronts painted. When you paint stucco or brick, you initiate a maintenance sequence that will continue through the life of the building. You go from maintenance free to maintenance intensive, all for a styling trend. Here's a house I formerly admired blonde brick all around with a lovely dividing wall in the front yard made of the same blonde brick. This person has done a stylish remodel, stuckling over all of the brick, probably at a cost of $30,000 or more, and setting in motion the need to repeat probably $10,000 of work every 20 years. If I had done this house, it would still be classic blonde brick, an enduring material. Here's another one, stuccoed over uh, in a less stylish manner, but in the typical gray, starting a cycle of stuccoing and restuccoing every 20 years at a cost to the owner. You know, one of the most ridiculous things I see in people who imitate what they see on home remodeling shows is not putting mirrors in bathrooms. Now, when they film these shows, they take the mirrors out so you don't see the cameramen following the actors around. And folks imitate it so completely that they will remodel and market their homes with no mirror at all because it's what they saw on TV. I ask you to think about it and not to imitate what you see on TV, but to create a quality lasting product. To me, it's almost a crime to go from a zero maintenance surface to a surface that needs continual maintenance. I consider painting brick a misdemeanor because after five or 10 years, the paint will chip and fade and maybe the brick can go on without further maintenance. I consider stuccoing over brick a felony because it costs 10 to $30,000 to cover it. And every time you restock, it'll cost five, 10 or $15,000. A very expensive styling mistake. This stucco over brick veneer was done recently and it is already cracking. And one of the most tragic things I see is there were these beautiful stacked stone fireplaces built from the 40s up till the late 60s. Uh, really things of art, not these horrible stacked stones made of concrete that you buy at the uh, um, remodeling store nowadays, but actual stone that was quarried, cut, matched, and built into a beautiful thing. One of the greatest tragedies I've seen is sometimes people take these and they paint them. To me, that's tantamount to a remodeling capital offense. 
From my perspective, I would ask you to please leave the stone alone. Please leave the brick as it is, and as you remodel and do your DIY projects, to think carefully about leaving a lasting, low-maintenance surface as opposed to following trends and creating something that will cost future owners money. Thanks for watching.